Hello and welcome. Let's begin by affirming together our opening statement. There is only one presence and one power in my life and the universe, God. I invite you now to take a deep breath with me. <sighs> Just relaxing into this moment, we open ourselves to spirit, the teacher within us, so that we might, with our divine wisdom and understanding, take from this message just what we need to use in our life. And so it is. And the title of the message is Three Faces of God. This isn't so much a <clears throat> attempt, an attempt at describing God as a way of describing perspectives that we human beings might have towards our relationship with God. We can't hope to describe God in the amount of time that we have in our life on this earth, much less in a 20-minute message. But, we can describe useful ways that we can have a relationship with God. I'd like to show you how these different perspectives are described in the Bible and explain how they can be useful to us. The three faces of God, in short, are God out there, some being that we can pray to, that we can think about. Our Divine Mother, our Divine Father, our Divine Friend. The second face would be God in here. Spirit, the Comforter. Our Guidance from on high, the I Am Presence within us. And the third face is God everywhere. There is no place where God is not. The self-existent consciousness, divine mind, this is God everywhere. Everywhere we might think of, everywhere we might go, and beyond that, this idea of an everywhere manifesting and transcendent God. So let's look at where these ideas are mentioned in the Bible, going towards how they can be useful to us on our spiritual path. I'd like to go first to the Hebrew Scriptures and the book of Psalms. This is a common one you've heard before, most likely, which is Psalm 23. I'll be reading from the, all of the scriptures of today are coming from the Lamsa translation from the Aramaic scrolls. So first, Psalm 3, verse 1. I'm sorry, Psalm 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Seeing God as shepherd, a being who's out there caring for me, even as I provide for the shepherd. This is a give and take relationship, a, a total interdependence on God. Also, shepherd is a masculine role in the ancient Hebrew society. And so we have God out there as a male being. Later in the same chapter of, of Psalms, in verse 5, we see a slightly different perspective where it says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. And here we see this same presence out there in a feminine role. 
So God as divine father, divine mother, divine brother or sister. Because preparing the table in the time that this was written was a female function in society. So we have this presence out there. It's not the normal unity teaching, but I'm going to tell you it has been useful to me. I'd like to describe a time when my faith was challenged because a teacher who I had some respect for began saying that these things that she had been teaching were all wrong. She fell back on a more traditional, fundamental perspective, and it scared me. My fear was that the things that I was teaching were wrong, that I was leading people who would hear my messages in a wrong direction. And it upset me a great deal. And so immediately I prayed to God out there, I need your help, tell me. Tell me whether I am on the right path or not. And almost immediately I received guidance back. And I knew that I was on that right path. I was following my own inner guidance and I felt better. The second face, God within us. Where is it that we hear about that in our scriptures? And I'd like to go to Luke, the gospel according to Luke, and chapter 17, I'd like to read a couple of verses, 20 and 21. So Luke 17, 20 and 21. When some of the Pharisees Ask Jesus when the kingdom of God would come. He answered, saying to them, The kingdom of God does not come by observation. Neither will they say, Behold, it is here, or behold, it is there. For behold, see with me, the kingdom of God is within you. Kingdom of God, the realm of God, the divine counsel, that guidance, that relationship to God, the presence of God is within us. It is that guidance that came back when I prayed, crying for help to a God out there. The response was within me, and I knew. I knew without words I was comforted that I was on the right path. God, the I am presence within me, gave me that assurance. When we go into the silence and we are open to receive, we are open to that presence within us. Finally, we have the most transcendent, the most difficult for our intellect to grasp, face of God. And I want to remind you, these are not characteristics of God. These are characteristics of our relationship with God different ways that we can communicate, that we can see and understand this presence that is beyond our conception. This presence, this third face, is a God who is everywhere present. There is no place where God is not. We are never alone because God is always present. Can you see the use of that? That comfort, that knowing? It is also describing the oneness, how God is not only in me and you, but in everyone we meet. 
we are all equally sharing in this same divinity. And for this description in Scripture, I'd like to go to the book of Acts, chapter 17 again. And I would like to read verses 27 and 28, again from the Lamsa translation from the Aramaic. So they should seek and search after God and find him by means of his creations because he is not far from any one of us. For in him, in God, we live and move and have our being. As some of your own wise men have said, for we are his kindred. So, searching for God in the sunrise. Searching for God in the darkness of night. God is everywhere present, always and all the time. God in whom we live and move and have our being. There is great comfort here. And there is great mystery. This is that transcendent God. God is love. Mm. My prayer is that these three perspectives on the relationship that we can have with God will help us when we are in time of need, that we can call on God from one of these perspectives, or perhaps like the example I used where both of them, two of them, or perhaps all of them, interact to provide us with the guidance, the help that we need amongst the situations of life. Let's close by affirming together our prayer for protection. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever I am, God is. Thank you.